Hello everyone, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I'm going to be making a card and it's the one you see in front of you here and it's made with the visible image 99% chance of wine stamp set. Now I'm also going to be using the matching die set that comes with this stamp. We have a, we are expanding our range of visible image products at Paper Flourish. So in store you'll find um, not only a restock of stamps but also a lot of new stamps that haven't been there before and recently Visible Image released quite a few die sets for their stamps and so we're, we're stocking those as well um, stencils as well so we their, their products are amazing they're different um, they're just super cool so please head to our website paperflourish.com.au and check out the range of visible image products that we have in store. All right, so this is the um, card I'm going to make today uh, and it's got a really interesting background and then said so I'm going to stamp the images uh, from the uh, from the stamp set, the Chance of Wine stamp set and then use the dies to cut them out. We're going to colour them in. Lots of things happening. So let me just place that card to the side for the moment. Let's pop it over there. Now the card front I'm using is made out of multifarious cardstock, Lavinia multifarious cardstock, which I've got some right here. So that's the cardstock I'll be using. I'm managing to knock everything off my desk at the moment. All right, pop that to the side. The size I've done here is, I'll just check, five and a half inch square. So this will go on to the card. The finished card is a six by six um, square card, six inch by six inch. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is spray the background and I'm going to spray it using a stencil. This again is a visible image, one of their stencils called Distressed Brick. A brilliant stencil. It's so cool this one. So I'm going to get my splatter box, the good old splatter box, place the stencil in, in the splatter box, that side down. And I'm going to use some Stamperia sprays. Now these are the Aquacolor sprays and I've got the Graphite and I've also got Sky Blue. So I'm going to add the Graphite first and I'm just going to spray it straight onto the stencil. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue. I thought it might be nice just to add a touch of the blue as well. My card, I'm going to place it straight down onto the stencil. The stencil is just a little, little bit bigger than the card front. Piece of paper towel. Press down onto that. Okay, let's take that away and let's see what's happened on the card. There we are. Isn't that a fantastic effect? So instead, rather than inking the bricks, uh, which I'll do if I put the stencil down and then did spraying or inking, the inks would take the colour. This time it's the background which has got the colour and then the, the, the bricks have been left white. But a little, can see it's got some little marks of the grey and blue there through that. So it looks pretty cool. All right, I'm just going to dry this with the heat tool right off the background so that's now ready for stamping but isn't that a quick easy but effective way to produce a background one of my favorite things to do with the stencils and sprays um, that kind of background all right we're going to add I'm going to add some stamping into the background you can see in the background I've got some um, gray and black stamping the red I ate I added later which will do the red stamping I'm using the Visible Image Ink Splats Stamp. And the first one I'm going to do is this large circle. I've popped it onto a Lavinia acrylic board and I'm going to stamp that in Nocturne Versifying Claire. And I want this circle to end up sort of being behind the wine bottle and the glass on the card. So I'm going to position it probably, let me see. We might go round about here, I think. Oh, 
that's on there. The next stamp I'm going to use is another one, or another, in fact, I'm going to use a variety of the ink splat stamps. Let's just do one at a time. And I'm just going to add these randomly onto the card front. This time I'm using the Morning Mist Versifying Clear, which comes out more like a grey. So it's just going to sit there in the background. And we're just going to stamp this in random spots on the card. Just do a couple of each. This one's good. It's got a really big splat on it. Hello. Oh, I thought that was Murphy for a minute. He's around. Let's see if he'll come up and say hello in a minute. He's wandering past just a minute ago. All right, where should we pop this one? See how that one's cool. It's got a big splat. And maybe one more of those. Bring that in off the top. And then we'll do just one more. The Ink Splats um, stamp set is an excellent one. Mixed media and cards, but a really good background stamp. All right, let's bring this one in over here. Just adds that little bit of interest, a little bit more interest to the card. There we are. I think that's enough splats, ink splats on the card on the on the card there. Okay, let's pop that one to the side with a really handy stamp set. So that was done in the morning mist. Now I'm going to pop this to the side for the moment. It even looks good just like that, doesn't it, without anything else on it. But we are going to add some of the stamps from the 99% um, Chance of Wine uh, stamp set. Now the dies, the set of dies in this set, you, you get the die to cut out the wine bottle, the glass and also the cork. I don't know about you, I would not like to fussy cut the glass. Much easier being able to do it with a die set. Now I've already set these up the stamps first i've set them up on my um on my stamp press and so i've got the glass i've got the bottle and the cork all ready to go and in position so what i'm going to do is stamp them with the um, embossing first mark embossing pad and then i'm going to use the super fine black ranger embossing powder to emboss them First, before I do that, I'm just going to run my anti-static pad over the cardstock. Now, this is just a scrap piece of Lavinia cardstock, multifarious cardstock that I've got there. Make sure we pop one there. That should work. Okay. Now, I'm just going to make sure there's my piece of paper already folded, ready for the embossing powder. Got the embossing powder ready to roll. So let's bring the Versa marking ink here and I'm going to do all three stamps at the same time. Ink them up with the Versa mark. And get that stamp. Let's just do that one more time. I want to make sure I get a good coverage. Okay, working quickly. We take that away from the stamp press. Images are on there. And let's bring over my folded paper, the super fine black embossing powder. And let's pour that over the images. There's the bottle and there's the cork. Okay, so I've set the, the embossing powder with the heat tool. I think that's all, all good now. All right, so we've got those three images. So I said you could fussy cut them out, but I'm not a massive fan of fussy cutting myself. I love it when you get a set of matching dies to go with your stamp set. So these are the ones that go with the 
um, this stamp set here. So we've got the wine bottle, we've got the glass, and the, also the little um, die there for the cork. Now on my sticky tape holder here, this is removable tape. I'm going to position the die in place. Some removable tape just to hold that in place while I run it through the die cutting machine. So I'm now I'm going to colour these. Now I've decided the wine's going to be red today and I'm going with the Distress Ink Lumberjack Play. This was Tim Holtz's latest colour. Lavinia watercolour brush. I've got set number one here which has the four fine sets. It's going to wet my brush, pick up some of the ink and start colouring. Let's start with the cork. There we go. It's a really nice colour this one. So I've got to make good red wine. So I'm going to go ahead and colour these images. I've coloured all three images with the Distress Ink Lumberjack Play. Now I could have used Copics, I could have used Poscas, lots of different types of pens to colour with. The reason I use the Distress Ink is that in a moment I'm going to do some embossing with the Lumberjack Play um, Distress Embossing Glaze. So this way all the colours are going to work, work in together because it's the same colour. So saying that, let's just pop the Distress Ink to the side for the moment and let's bring in this um, embossing glaze. So the idea I had was to have the bottle maybe sort of around about here the glass next to it and then some of the fizz now this stamp set has sort of like I call it the fizz or the wine as well coming out of it now I don't need to worry about the wine in the glass because that's already there but I do want to use this part to have the sort of fizz coming out of the glass so it almost looks like it's been been spilt so there is my stamp set there it is Let's get that stamp set stamp out. So I'm thinking of sort of placing it like this. So you've got that coming out. So what I want to do is just have the top part. So when I go to stamp this, I'm actually going to mask off the bottom part so that only the top part stamps. Pop this on a plate, acrylic board. Now I'm going back in with the embossing, going back in here with the Versamark ink pad. Let's ink up the stamp. And then I need a little bit of scrap paper. I can even use the one that I've got right here. So around about there is where we want it. So let's do that and we're going to stamp this just around about there okay. let's bring the folded paper over distress embossing glaze so you can see it's here just on the card it'll show up a little bit more once we emboss with it, once we emboss it with the heat tool, and then we'll position the glass so that on the card, so that you've got that wine coming out of the top of it. Put the lid back on so I don't spill it. Heat tool. So at the moment, it just looks like a bit of an extra embellishment on the card. But when we position the wine glass, underneath it, we've got our wine then coming out of the wine glass. Okay, so now I think I'm going to put the, let's stick these pieces into place now. I'm going to use 450 glue to do that. Well, 450 glue, crafters cannot be without this product. So let's stick these down into place. So we know exactly where they're going. So position that glass just underneath the wine. Straight. I love on the visible image stamp sets all the extra little details they give you. For example, like the, 
the fizz, the wine, all the, the cork, all the extra little bits. And you'll see a couple of others in a moment we're going to use from that wine stamp set. They put a lot of thought into not only it's not only the image, but it's also the finished image. So I think stamps you can use for the backgrounds and things. They're very really well thought out visible image stamp sets. The cork. I'm going to pop that down just here to the side of the, sort of between the two of them. That's where the cork can go. It's fallen down there. Okay, there we go. So we're going, I want to put some of the sentiments on my card. I had the, there's, this stamp set comes with a couple of different sentiments. The word wine is there. I chose because being an adult is hard. You could also put not. You can put wine, today's forecast, 99% chance of wine. Wine is cheaper than therapy. So there's a few different, few choices there as to what you might like to pop on your card. But I'm going to go with the wine and the, because being an adult is hard. It's not actually that hard really, is it? But, but certainly a bit more difficult than when you're being a child. Okay, let's get my acrylic board. I'm going to stamp this with the Versafine Claire Nocturne. Put my fizz back on. There's the wine word. Let's do that one first. And we'll pop that up in the corner. go and because being an adult is hard where's that one there it is there make sure I don't put it on upside down because being an adult is hard let's just pop it underneath go and the last thing I'm going to do to the card is sit on this stamp set you've got some extra little like some little ink splats here the circle so I'm going to use those just to add some extra features to the background this time I'm going to stamp with the distress ink lumberjack plaid so just to add a little bit more red to the background so here's the little circle Off them with a piece of paper. So yeah, just adding that extra little touch of red just helps to lift it, doesn't it? And where's those ink splats? There they are. But stamps like this you could use with lots of projects. Not just if you're using this stamp set. Keep in your mind you can use these, especially mixed media. Stamps like this are so useful. And maybe just another one in there. There we go. So I think that's all we need to add to this. I think that's a busy enough card. All right. So featuring the gorgeous visible image products and... Lumberjack played, what an amazing colour that is. So the only thing I'm going to do then is I've already prepared this six inch card. It's got the black mat and I'll stick that in place. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day and there'll be a lot, lot more craft videos on the way very soon. Thank you. Bye.